Hey guys, today I am back with a new tutorial. Today's look is a peacock inspired eye makeup look. It is very bright. Maybe not bright, but there's a lot of color to it. I'd still consider it to be wearable, so if you'd like to see how I did it, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to place that all over my lid, up to my brow bone, and even underneath my eye a little bit. So the co first color I'm going to be placing on my lid is from my Quo Quad in Peacock. And it's kind of that olive green color. And I'm going to place that, like I said, all over my lid. Okay, so after I've applied that olive color, I'm going to go back into that Quo Quad. And I'm going to take out the, like, teal color from the quad. And I'm going to place that just almost above my crease. And maybe a little bit inside of it. So above my crease, inside of it. And I'm going to kind of um, bring it out of the outer, outer corner. Out and up a little bit. Okay, so next I'm going into this palette. And I'm taking out that bright, almost metallic blue. And I'm going to apply that right in my crease and blend it a little bit with the teal and the olive colors. So after that bright blue, I'm going into my 42 Coastal Scent Double Staff Palette and I'm going to take the Royal Blue and I'm going to place that right in the very outer corner of my eye and I'm going to kind of swirl it around a little bit and just make that really dark and accentuated and then blend it up into the crease. Next I'm actually going to go back in with that teal color from the Quote Quad and I'm just going to um, place it a little bit over top of the blue on the top just to make sure it stands out a little bit better just fix it up. I am also going to do the same thing with the olive color and just place it mostly on the inner corner of my lid just to again make it stand out a little bit better. Okay, so the next step was going back into my 42 Double Staff Palette and lining my top lid with that really bright green color. It's just going to give it a really nice bright pop of green. So the next step is going back into the 42 Double Staff Palette and taking out that really bright purple color and I'm going to actually line the inner corner of my lower lash line. I'm not going to go all the way over, like all the way across. I'm going to just do the almost inner half of my lower lash line. Next I'm going to grab that really light metallic blue and I'm going to connect the purple and line the outer half of my lower lash line with that blue color. It's a really pretty color and then I'm going to just kind of blend them together in the middle. Okay, so once you have the lower lash line lined, I'm actually going to go into my 42 Double Stack Palette and take out that mint green color and place it right in my tear duct. That'll not only highlight my eye a little bit better and make it bright, it's going to kind of connect the light, the purple on the bottom to the green on the top and just blend it a little bit together. Now you can go in and fix anything up that you need to fix, and then your final step is going to highlight your brow bone. I'm going to take my um, 88 color palette from Postal Sense and I'm going to just take a color that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone and just place it right under my brow bone and kind of blend it in with the, the dark blue and teal that I have on my lid. Now your final step for your eyes is clearly going to be mascara. Um, today I'm using the CoverGirl Volume Exact Mascara. Apply it to your top and bottom lashes as desired. Now it's time to move on to your face. You can do what you want for your face, your typical foundation routine, etc, etc. For me, today I'm using the Elmay Smart Shade Makeup in Medium, and I'm going to apply that all over my face. Now I did apply some before I started, but um, due to follow, etc, etc, I am reapplying it a little bit. 
So after I've applied the Elmi Sport Shade Makeup, I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm just going to set that. So I'm going to apply it all over my face. It'll give you more of a matte finish and just set the foundation. And after that, I'm going to go in my 42 Double Stack Palette into the bottom half where the blush is. And I'm going to take a um, pinky corally color and I'm going to apply that to my cheek. With my fingers, I'm just going to apply it and blend it back. And then I'm going to kind of blend it with a brush after. Okay, so the final step today is our lips. For me, I'm applying the Mensa Organic Lip Gloss from Bath & Body Works. It's just a light pink color. It's not sticky. It's a little shimmery, but I really, really like it. It's perfect for summer, and I do believe it actually has an SPF in, in it. If I'm incorrect, I apologize. Look it up. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the final step for today. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials coming. Thanks. Bye.